Hi, this is Ben, and this is an Access Database tutorial, which I want to demonstrate to you about the auditing tool that I built in Microsoft Access. Currently version 2010, but it can be applied to early versions in the old MDB file format, which is pre-2007. And I would like to just show you a tool that I built that to that you can add your own objects, your own forms, into this tool by simply using the following screen that I'm going to bring on display now. So here's that. Here comes the, the auditing setting dialog box and you can see on the left hand side these are just sample forms that I have which in fact if you look carefully in the navigation window these are the tables, these are its forms, it knows how to pick up only the forms and I can then decide to pick one or more and append these forms to the forms to carry out auditing so it's going to track any data changes in those forms if I decided to make change to records. The second tab called properties, when we do populate the forms, will allow us to refine to whether we want to include things like date, time and user information. Again, can be heavily customized for your requirements. So here's an example. If I select, let's say, customers, employers, order details and orders, this is the top four forms, and I click on the single arrow to append the item selected, it builds the links and the functions that I've coded for you to actually attach an audit trail to these forms. I could have chosen all forms or remove individual as well as move all of them, which again sets the params up nicely. If I then go on to the properties, you can see those forms are now being populated here. If I click on, say, customers, you can see by default it allows you to capture the date and the user. It's the system user in this case, but it can be your own login user if you have a user profile or security system that you've built over and above that. If I want to include the timestamp element, I can just obviously modify the tick, and again, I must either accept uh, or reject. So I'm going to accept this, which just writes it to it. So it's now been stored. Likewise, employees and the other forms are still as they were. So if I decide to include a timestamp for the orders, accept that. All I've done is simply modified it. Remember, though, if I remove anything from here, it will remove it from here and reset it as well. So this is just one screen to control access and applying the functions. And the second tab is simply to refine the properties for those that have been included. So that's how we set it up. And everything's been coded for us nicely. If I now go and close the form, I can go to the individual forms itself. So if I go to customers and I decide to tweak the company name or perhaps change the country. As I'm clicking in between the controls and I, as soon as I move to a new record or I close a form, it will simply just audit this for me. It will keep a track of what was going on. So again, I can just simply change, make changes and it captures it nicely for me. If I close this form, let's go and see what actually happened. I'm going to open just the table where it called audit trail log for the moment and just see what it did capture for me. And there we go. If we just scroll down, there's some old data there. But here's the last two or three changes I've made. There's a couple of changes here rather. You can see that the customers table the admin user, that's who I am logged in as. If I was a profile to an individual user, my name would appear here. And the actual changes per control has been modified from the old to the new. And it simply just creates a memo and a date and timestamp because that's how I chose. Okay. Now, to help that easy, easily along to look at the data clearly, I've created a form for that as well called the audit log, which has a simple list view and I can search by a type, let's say customers, or perhaps by individual narrative. And either way, you can sort of just double click to view the details as well. So this is an audit form that can be simply added to your existing database. It'll pick up your current forms and you can just simply attach or deattach the code as you wish. And again, this is something which is easily accessible. You can get to the VBA code and you can modify it to taste. This is the tool that I offer and I leave it open for those who want to customize further. And there's room for improvement on this, like with any development system. And this is why I produce the audit tool for my clients. So I hope you understand how to use this effectively. If you want more details, go to my website, accessdatabasetutorial.com and uh, have a look at the tool and try it out. Thank you.